feels great. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, now I'm in one of the best teams in the world and to be part of this club and to have this opportunity, for me it's great. I'm, I'm very happy to be part of the Manchester City team and I look forward to, to try and do my best to help the team reach their, their goals. There's been a lot of interest in your signature. What was it about City that made you, uh, made you choose to come here? Well, first of all, the project, you know, that's, that's City. Uh, over the last few years, uh, the team plays to win. Uh, I want to win titles. And as I spoke with, with the people from Manchester City, they always told me that their goal was to win titles. And that's also my goal. Uh, so I'm here with, with all the players, the amazing players that we have, the coach and all the team that is behind us. I think we can do it. You mentioned the coach there. How important was uh, Pep Guardiola being in charge here in your decision to, uh, to make the move? Well, if not the best coach in the world, he's one of the best. So, of course, uh, when you have the opportunity of being trained by, by Guardiola, you, you, don't, you don't say no. Uh, uh, as, we, as we all know, what he did in, in Barcelona and, and Bayern Munich was amazing. And we all expect also here uh, to some, that, that he wins titles and it's great to, 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 be, to be working with him and to be able to have this opportunity, as I said. Portugal have a, a real rich history of producing number 10s, you know, playmakers. Um, I can think of, sort of kind of Rui Costa and Deco in, in my lifetime who have been particularly good. What, what do you think it is about Portuguese football that kind of creates that kind of player? Well, I don't know. We have a lot of we have a lot of players uh, that are offensive players that over the last few years had a lot of success uh, in football. Uh, it's true that we have a lot of offensive midfielders, and I think it's we're, we're we're a little bit similar to Spain. I think we're smaller, so we don't have as many players as them, but we're similar to them because we're not. We're not like the, the north of Europe where you have a lot of tall players and strong players, but we have other things and for the offensive positions we have a lot of players. I was going to mention your height, you're five foot eight, um, and a lot of playmakers do tend to be, to, tend to be smaller. Do, does, does, um, does being small bring benefits in that position, do you think? Well, I, I think when you're smaller and not as strong as, as the other ones uh, physically, uh, you have to develop uh, some other things, like you have to think uh, faster, you have to try and, and be better in other things. And uh, in this kind of positions, it's good to, 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 have to, to be smart, to try and decide well, to decide fast. And as I said, when, when you're smaller, uh, you, you, have, you have to develop other things, and that's what I, what I try to do. I mentioned Deco earlier. Um, we know him really well in this country from his, his time at Chelsea. He's a big admirer of yours and said in the past that you're a player who takes risks. Um, there's good technical quality and you could be Portugal's number 10 for many years. Uh, it must be great for you to hear comments like that from somebody with you know, the kind of stature in the game that he's got. Yes, sure. Uh, when, you, when you hear someone like Deco talking about you that way, it's, it's great. He, he was he was one of the best players that that played for for our for our national team, uh, as you said, him and Rui Costa, they they are two legends, and it's great to to hear him speaking that way about me. So, who were your idols when you were growing up then? Well, Rui Costa, as you said, because I'm a Benfica fan, uh, and Rui Costa, he he played for Benfica. Uh, he ended his career in Benfica. It, it's it's more more or less my position, so it's it's Rui Costa. Um, your performance here at the Etihad in in February was uh, hugely impressive, and I think a lot of the City fans went away that night, um, kind of thinking you're one of the best young playmakers in Europe. What are your memories of that game, and were you pleased with you with your own performance? Yes, uh, we weren't pleased uh, for the score because we we didn't win that game. But it was a great game. Two teams that wanted to play football, to, to score goals. And uh, on the end of it, I think both teams did a, a fantastic game. And to play here in the, in the Etihad was special. Your work ethic has always been uh, widely praised. And it seems like it's a key facet of your game. 
Um, do you think it's important for, for modern players, even attacking players, to make sure they work hard off the ball? Of course. Nowadays, if you don't work hard, even if you're one of the best, you don't succeed. Uh, it's not only defenders that have to defend, it's not only attackers that have to, to attack. So it's a team and we all have to do everything. Uh, you joined Benfica as an eight-year-old and made a handful of appearances um, for them. Um, uh, but it was really for their B team, wasn't it, that you, you kind of made your name and, and, and played a lot. How important was that period for you to kind of gain that experience of playing football regularly? Well, it was, it was very important for me to, to go from the uh, under-19 to the, to the second division, to the second team. And that here, when you, when you have this, this difference between playing with kids and playing with, with old people and experienced players, it was great for me to play on the second division with, with the second team of Benfica. And I think it was one of the most important years for, for my career. And in 2013, when you went to the Under-19s European Championships and Portugal reached the semi-finals, you were nominated by UEFA writers as one of the top 10 Under-19 talents in Europe. That must have been a huge boost to your confidence at that time, to be kind of um, so critically acclaimed. Yes, of course. Uh, when you play for, for your country, it means that you're one of the best uh, on your age uh, to be selected. And to be in that European Cup and to be elected one of the best of the tournament was great as well. And when you went to Monaco, you initially went on loan, didn't you? But uh, they made the agreement permanent quite, quite quickly. Were you surprised uh, how well you adapted to, to French football? Uh, yes, a little bit, but uh, we had a lot of Portuguese players. We had a Portuguese coach that helped me a lot as well. Uh, so after six years, uh, they bought me. My, my, I, I adapted really, really fast, but also because I had a lot of help. Um, and obviously last season was really, really successful for, for Monaco. We scored a lot of goals, um, won the title, uh, semi-finals of the Champions League. Uh, must be quite a difficult decision for you to, to have left a team like that. Yes, of course. Uh, it's true that in Monaco this season we did, we did some fantastic things. To win a title against PSG is not easy in France. To, to arrive on the semi-finals, it's, it, was, it was fantastic. Uh, but I think it was, it was a good time to leave. Uh, we were champions and uh, it was great to be part of, of Monaco. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really grateful for everything. But now I'm very happy to be here and to have this new, this new project in my life. And uh, Leonardo Jardim, the manager at Monaco, he encourages a real attacking style, doesn't he? Similar to perhaps what Pep Guardiola will play here. Is that important to a player, to, to play in a team that, that goes forward? Well, for me, yes. Personally, yes. Uh, I think when you play football, when you win and you play well and you enjoy, it's even better. So, where you can have both things, uh, winning and enjoying playing football, it's great. And uh, finally, we've got um, your namesake, David Silver, who, who plays for City. He's one of, uh, one of the greatest players to have ever played for this club. And you, you're quite similar in style. Are you looking forward to, uh, to training with him and, and, and playing with him? Of course. He's one of the best players in the world. Uh, I, I look forward to, to learn with him, to, to see, to see what, what he can teach me to, to play with him and to have this opportunity, as I said. It's fantastic. Uh, uh, when I was a kid, I was looking at, at him and some other players, and now to be able to play with them, it's just great. Bernardo, thanks for talking to us, and good luck uh, with Thank your you Manchester City career.